Hi, I'm Steve. In this video, I'm going to share with you some new accessories I've made for my workshop. I recently purchased a 3D printer uh, about two months ago. I struggled with it for up until about a week ago. I really wasn't getting very good prints, but thanks to the content I found on the Tomb of 3D Printed Horrors channel and CHEP, I was able to tune my machine, get it calibrated, and now I'm getting good results. And what I've made here are some domino glue nozzles, which has been a never-ending source of frustration for many of us domino owners. Now this is not just limited to dominoes. Any mortise is this can be a challenge. Now the dominoes fit tightly. I've made these for 5 mm, 6 mm, 8 and 10 mm dominoes. And I've milled some uh, sample pieces and I'm going to test this, uh, these nozzles out. These nozzles, I'm hoping, are my final tweak on this design. And I'm going to share this design with the world. You can download these files. They will be in STL format. And you can import it to your CAD program. You can modify them and print them out as is. But throughout this video, I'm going to share with you some of the settings I used and how I oriented and 3D printed it for the best quality prints that I've been able to achieve. And I'm going to talk a little bit about what didn't work. And there were plenty of failures. So let's get to it. Okay, this is the set of uh, domino glue nozzles I've put together. I've sized these such they will reach close to the bottom of a 25 millimeter deep mortise. This device in the center is a flushing adapter so you can clean these nozzles after use. Now the glue that I use uh, in my shop is Tight Bond. Usually it's Tight Bond 3, sometimes it's Tight Bond 2, sometimes it's the original Tight Bond. But for handheld use, I like these 16 ounce bottles. And the challenging part of this design was to get the thread to match the cap here. So. I took some measurements, played around, and developed a thread style where I can take this uh, standard nozzle off the bottle. And I think uh, this will also fit several other bottles. I think it'll fit the larger size tight bond bottle as well. I do not know whether this fits other brands or not. So I'm going to try these. This is the 5 millimeter, and this just screws on. Now you don't want to over tighten this and what this nozzle is, I don't know whether the camera will pick up on that or not. It probably will not focus. It doesn't look like it's going to, but there's five one millimeter diameter holes on each side. And I'll flash a uh, cross-sectional view of the nozzles up on the screen now so you can see what the inside looks like. Okay, so I've got some dominoes now. And the first thing I want to do is just show you how the glue comes out of these uh, holes. One thing I've, because of the orientation of this, this is what I hope to be the final version of my design. Uh, that the, um, sometimes you get, well, the way I 3D printed these, I'll, I ended up with a rough surface somewhere. And uh, I'll, uh, let's go see, make sure I don't have any leaks here but you can see how the glue comes out on both sides and what my intention was is to put this glue nozzle in the bottom squeeze the bottle and withdraw it and I don't think the camera is going to pick this up but you can see there's glue well I can see there's glue on the inside of the nozzle with maybe a few drops in the very bottom and I'll just hammer that in. Now these are milled 25 millimeters deep. But that's my intention is to go in and just put it up the side and I'm getting good I'm getting good coverage on the side. I think this will take some practice and I'm not noticing any leakage around the threads. Let me pull this off. And it looks like I was getting some leakage around the that rough spot on the on the bottom, but 
it'll just have to do I think now with this here I'm going to I've got a little tub of water that I'll just put that nozzle in I don't want that glue solidifying or tacking up inside the uh, inside the nozzle once I'm done with it so that's the five millimeter domino six millimeter glue nozzle and I'll purge this maybe the camera will pick that up yeah you see it there six millimeter and I'm getting good, good glue coverage on the sides. I do not want it on the ends necessarily because there's really not a whole lot of strength there because you are gluing long grain to end grain. The way I 3D printed this was done this way. With my hands the bed of the 3D printer, it built it up that way. I've tried building it down that way. It works. It leaves a real rough surface. I've got an example of that here. You can see that's pretty rough, but it's smooth on the inside, whereas this is rough in here, and you've got to clean that out. And I'll pick up my 8 millimeter sample piece, 8 by 40 domino nozzle. And these exit holes are one millimeter diameter each. Now the side to side clearance, I've got uh, the eight millimeter domino is eight millimeters wide slot and I allowed 0.2 millimeter clearance total so it's 0.1 millimeter ideally on each side and what that should do is swipe the glue along the side of the uh, the mortise and it is as far as lateral side play I allowed one millimeter uh, total distance side to side and good no hydraulic lock good even coverage Put that in water. Now go to the 10 millimeter. And I'll purge these nozzles. Ten millimeter sample piece. Ten by fifty domino. like you got enough do it again and that's plenty there's just a little bit running down the side I doubt if the camera will pick that well maybe it will but I'm, I'm getting good coverage so that's the 10 millimeter domino so the nozzles work well I'm going to take this off and put it in my little tub of water. See, just a tub of water. Okay, this is the flushing adapter. It, the, it is sized to fit on a hose bib, a garden hose, or a threaded faucet such as a utility sink. And I've taken a, a garden hose gasket and put in there. The opposite side has a Buna N O ring. This is size 111, and this is size such that this cap will fit. We'll just thread on here, and the Buna N O ring will seal. As far as the way this is printed out, I've experimented with various things. In my or early, not early on, my nozzles 
had uh, they all worked but I had some layer adhesion issues and as a result I went back and upped my temperature setting on this and the filament I, I upped this to 205 degrees Celsius. One of the files I'll leave in the the link I provide in the description will be the settings that I use for my printer. Obviously if your printer is set up different or you're using a different filament uh, you may need to adjust that but you'll know where I started from so maybe that'll get you to a good result sooner. Now as far as printing goes this one it's it started out fairly rough you can see the cross hatching there that's for the support you will need support whatever you do here now this one I printed it up if this blue piece is uh, is the bed of my 3d printer it printed from the bottom up and as a result I had to provide support there and the support I used was concentric and this is a piece out of it. You can see the cross hatching. This is the roof. And it leaves a rough edge. The area where the cap seals against the bottom is, is bridge material because I, I'm, I made sure that I did not have any support material in because early on I printed some of these out and I couldn't even get the support material out. So be aware of that. Okay, for this rough area here, after I removed the uh, support. I just used a router plane uh, and you need to be careful here because I've actually gone in and uh, shaved off all the layers and was seeing, a, seeing the infill in here. Uh, if, you, if you print this just, just take off the support material that, that remains to this. Now the rough surface where the cap seals I don't know. I, I'm going to try both of these and see what see what happens. But that's the uh, print from the uh, base of the lid up. This one, this is a 10 millimeter nozzle. This was printed with my hand, the ba base of the machine, from the tip up. Has provided a much smoother surface, and but where the support material was here. It's the wrong nozzle for that one. I think this is an eight millimeter nozzle. So this support was built like this, separated from here, and you ended up with rough surfaces here and, and around there. I don't know, I may go back to that, uh, but you can print however you want. I'm, I like the, the outside finish of this better. The PLA filament I was using was the, N, the Creality uh, PLA filament and you'll see that I, I ran this at 205 degrees Celsius. The layer height is important uh, primarily for these holes. I never was able to get a good clean hole by printing this at what they call a standard quality or 0.2 millimeter layer height. I dropped it down to 0.16 millimeter and the, the holes are just about perfect. I don't, didn't have to clean any of that out. So anyway, whatever choice you choose uh, for direction, uh, it's fine. It, I think they'll all work. There's another option that I tried. Let's see if I want to find it here. There it is. This was a 5 millimeter nozzle. This one, if my hand's the bed of the machine, I printed this horizontally. And while everything on the outside looked good and I had a good, nice, smooth surface in here, the threads, just where it bridges over, were horrible. And I have abandoned printing this horizontally. Uh, but that's just a tip. Uh, you can try it, see what you end up with. Let's head to the garage and I'll show you the flushing process. So I've got my flushing adapter here. Now this is PLA filament and I'm just going to thread it onto the faucet. With the gas thing I'm going to do is just kind of take this and flush out the inside of the caps so that I can get, uh, so I don't get glue all over the O-ring.
Okay, so I'm just going to take this and thread it on the flushing adapter. You want a bucket because these nozzles, well, unless you like taking a shower, uh, water's going to be shooting out both sides. So I, I'm going to start flush here. I'm just going to let it run for a little bit. And I've got good water stream out of all ten nozzles or ten orifices. I don't know whether the camera can pick that up very well. It's a gloomy day outside, it's cold, and the lighting in my garage is not all that great. One of the things I like to do is just look through the holes here and make sure that it's uh, that I see no glue and look down there and I'm, I think I'm pretty clear there. Hey, one thing you may want to consider doing just to verify your nozzles are clean take an air gun and just spray through there and just verify that the nozzles are clear if I printed the unit from the tip up. The, each one of these nozzles takes almost an hour longer to print this way than it does this way. If you print a cap up like that, I have had some, as a matter of fact, I think a couple of these had not one of these. I, you may be able to see a little deformation there put it down on the table see where it pulled away and that's where it pulled away from the bed slightly and this was I, uh, for the uh, bed adhesion I used a skirt which doesn't touch this and for this I used a brim and so there leaves a bit of a sharper edge there which I'm going to have to clean up but uh, this did not have the deformation that these do. You may be able to see it if I hold it up the camera like that. And you can see I got a little bit sharp edge I need to clean up there. So overall, I'm happy with this design. This is the one I'm going to upload. You can orient it any way you want when you print it out. And I encourage you to do it. And if you do print it out, I would love to hear what your thoughts are uh, in, the, uh, in the comments. And I appreciate you watching and have a great day.